Welcome to this presentation on what's new in Smart Preflight in Pitstop Pro 11 Update 2. A few additional fields in the Preflight and Action List editors have been enabled for Smart Preflight. In the Check Page Size and Select by Page Size actions, you can now enable the use of variable names. It has been possible for a long time to add action lists to preflight profiles. What is new is that you can toggle the use of the action lists on or off, and the toggle itself has also been enabled for smart preflight. This means you can use a Boolean variable from a variable set to determine whether or not to execute the action list. Further on in this presentation, I will show a complete example where this functionality will be highlighted. As was already the case for preflight profiles and action lists, it is now possible to lock a variable set with a password, meaning it can be used by anybody to whom you distribute it, but it is not editable without providing the password. The most noticeable change for the users is the support for drop-down lists. Here we see an example of a variable that requires the user to provide a paper class type. Now, instead of letting him type a number or a name, we can now define a fixed list from which he will be able to choose. This is easier for the user and it avoids typing errors. And this is what it looks like to the user when running the preflight profile. By choosing the correct paper type, the corresponding ink coverage value will be automatically filled in. Being able to work with drop-down lists opens up a whole new set of possibilities. Let me show you an example. If you work with a limited list of magazine titles, you could easily set up a variable set with one variable that asks the user to select the magazine and a number of other variables like the page sizes and the ink coverage that are rule-based on the magazine title. When running the profile, the user only has to pick the correct title and the values for the other variables are automatically filled in. As you can see, this method reduces the number of choices that have to be made by the user considerably. Let me now elaborate an example that takes advantage of the ability to toggle the execution of action lists on or off. As you can see in the Enfocus Inspector, this document doesn't have an output intent. And what I'm going to do is add the correct output intent based on the paper type. The first step in the process is to add Boolean variables for each output intent to the variable set and to make each one of them rule-based on a particular paper type. The second step is to add the action lists to the preflight profile that will attach a certain output intent to the document. And as the final step, I enable the variable names and I link the toggle to the corresponding Boolean variable from the variable set. When I now run the preflight profile, I am prompted for a paper type, amongst other things. Let me take LWC. And as you can see, the document now has the correct output intent attached to it.